Will Norris the Nightmare Lewis give the competition bad dreams? Can Erica the Shark Shank sink her teeth into him? Or is Ken the Jet Purcell going to break the speed of sound and fly away with the gold? I'm Mike O'Malley. Welcome to the Extreme Arena. This is Nickelodeon Guts. Do you have it? Working to the level of precision that's needed to be risen to the top. Do you have it? It takes a certain kind of something to keep the heart pumping, something everybody needs to achieve to succeed. You'll need a lot. Do you have it? Do, 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 do. Do you have it? Well, folks, in our next event, we brought the outside inside. It's called Vertiboggin, and our players are going to be 22 feet high trying to ski down our man-made ski slope. It's guts on snow. Let's go to our referee, Moore Quirk, with the rules. Hey, Mo, you are sky high up there. It's pretty dizzying up here. I've never seen the extreme arena from quite this perspective before, but I think our players will deal with it. Each player will start at the sound of my whistle and steer their Vertiboggin down the course. Best time wins. It's like that. On your mark, get set. All right, well, Norris is the nightmare. Let's see if he can have a dreamlike speed run down our vertebog. And he's got great control as he makes it around these corners and continuing to power himself. He really was hustling his way and continuing to use his hands down the slope. Let's go to Mo for the results. Mo. Norris clocked in at 10.3 seconds. Okay, so that's Norris. And folks, this ski surface that we use on our man-made Vertiboggin event right here is what the skiers use, professional skiers use, to train. Like Olympic skiers, indoor training, and certainly it's well worth the training for our Guts players right here. As you see Norris coming across the finish line, it looks like Erica is ready to go. On your mark, get set. All right, so we'll see what Erica can do right here. Is she keeping her weight very properly distributed? And good balance. Now coming around the moguls, giving some of our players trouble before. She's got to really have to push it across. And it looks like she did not beat Norris's time. Let's go to Mo for the results. Mo. Erica clocked in at 11.4 seconds, Mike. Okay, folks. So not only is a good start, a good push important, but you got to really control yourself as you make it through those moguls right there. And hitting those moguls, Erica... Making the last turn, didn't have the power to beat Norris's time. It looks like Ken is ready. On your mark, get set. All right, and so Ken, the jet is his nickname. Let's see if he can make his own little jet stream power, making his way down our Vertiboggin slope and really hustling. That was Ken just driving himself right through those moguls. Let's go to Mo and get the official results, Mo. Ken clocked in at 9.4 seconds. That puts him in first place. Norris in second place and Erica in third place. All right, so there it is, folks. That's an official time right there. Now, Ken, knowing he had to beat that really quick time, continued to drive himself all the way through and over the finish line. Great work for him. He takes first place in that event. And right now it's time to take a look at our leaderboard after one event. Mo. Well, Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Ken in purple. In second place with 200 points, Norris in blue. In third place with 100 points, Erica in red. So only a few seconds between our players as they take a look at the Vertiboggin slope right there. And right now, we're going to go to Mo and check out our event lineup for the day. Mo. Well, Mike, we've already brought a little piece of lily hammer to the extreme arena with the Vertiboggin. And next, we have our see-through sea race, invisible boat. For our second half, it's up to the aerial gridiron for touchdown. And then it's back down to the field for peak to peak. It's the tops, Mike. And as always, our last event, the Mega Crag. Trying to keep your balance on this stuff ain't easy, and right now it's time for Norris to spill his guts. Hi, my name's Norris. I've been playing soccer for about nine years, and one day I hope to play professionally. For now, I just like having fun and hanging with my friends. Well, folks, our players are going across our pool, and our next event is called Invisible Boat. We don't have boats, but we got some paddles, we got some harnesses, and we got three very determined kids. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! At the sound of my whistle, our players will paddle themselves across the pool and back, making sure to touch the edge of the pool with their paddle to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so Norris with a second place finish in our first event. 
Vertebogen, let's see what he can do in the pool, and, and great speed. He's got himself real low, hunched over, and is really using that paddle, folks, to drive across, and that was fantastic time. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Norris clocked in at 13.1 seconds. All right, folks. Well, I have seen this event done quite a few times, and he really hunched himself over low and had great, great technique getting across the pool. Great speed. So let's get ready for Erica. On your mark, get set. All right, let's see what Erica can do. Okay, so Erica, using her paddle, she got, had a little bit of trouble getting a good push for a fast start. So she's really going to have to hustle. Does not look like she's going to be Norris's time, but with the swivel and pivot right there, she still has to continue to drive herself across that pool because Ken has yet to go, and Ken is our leader going into this event. So let's go to Mo and get the official time for Erica. Er Mo. Erica clocked in at 23 seconds even. All right, so 23 seconds for Erica. And she went in that event in third place with 100 points. Now our leader will be stepping into the harness right now. He has 300 points. That's Ken right there. We'll see what Ken can do. On your mark, get set. All right, so Ken the Jet is going to be fighting the water jets. Now his paddle technique, he's taking short strokes, very short strokes as he drives his way across the pool. And with the pivot, taking up much too much time to get pushed back over there. So, as you can see, taking very short strokes, he's not driving the paddle like Norris was across the pool. So right now he's going to have to hustle getting across there. And coming in for the final seconds, let's go to Mo. Mo. Well, Ken splashed in at 24.3 seconds. So that puts Norris in first place, Erica in second place, Ken in third place. All right, check out right here. Look at how low and hunched over and really driving the paddle one stroke after another. That was our man Norris doing great work for him. Excellent, excellent work for Norris, and we got him down here. Now, Norris, going into that event, you, kn you knew you needed to start off with a good, good time there because the other players are going after you. What were you thinking going into it? Just try my hardest and do, do whatever I could to win. All right, well, let's check out our leaderboard now and Mo. Mo. Well, right now, Norris is in the lead with 500 points. In second place, Ken with 400 points. In third place, Erica with 300 points. We're through with the pool, folks.